Open AI Codex is now available on your VS Code, WinServe, or Cursor. And here are the things you should know. You can use it for free if you have a ChatGPT account. Just drag and drop to place it nicely. And, and after that, sign in with your chat account. Next is keyboard shortcuts. Add your customized keyboard shortcuts. Go to the settings icon inside the Codex. And there is a keyboard shortcuts. And start adding your own. Just press the customized keyboard shortcut. For example, I will add this. Press enter. There you go. Next, you have a three type of mode. First is chat or plan. It just conversate with you. It won't edit anything. There is an agent so it can read write edit file on the go but the best is the agent full access if you want codex to have internet access then agent full access is a must for example i will say install next js using their sky there you go next is the type of model for example you have a three codex model which is low bdmm hiding model and there's also another model which you can use so next is to use auto context auto context will have the context of all the files in the folder you have opening your ide it will start indexing into its context and revert back the code based output here we have already created a next.js so let's create productivity dashboard with kanban style shapes connectors let's see if it can actually do this task and we with just one prompt it completed everything here let's test it out how it's looking and there you go this is my productivity command center so work the plan first is the kanban there's a backlog in progress review and i can drag and drop like that and there is a task title which i can give there's a back to dashboard button there's a planning here here i can plan at specific time on the day of the week and this is actually really good and next is the notes here i can write the notes right script for the next video save note okay so the preview view has has been saved and next is the whiteboard we can drag and drop and add notes add something for example script writing we can brainstorm everything using this whiteboard with just one prompt you can create such an app and if i keep iterating it it create a more feature loaded app that's about the codex inside ide hope you like this short tutorial see you in the next video bye bye